Hello YouTube and welcome back. This is Nico and you're watching Determinator Gaming. Today we're playing Kingdom Come Deliverance and we're coming at you with another analysis video for the skills in Kingdom Come Deliverance. This one will be dealing with the top five most useful strength skills. That of course being all of the skills underneath the strength tree. This list contains what I consider to be the five most important or most helpful skills in that tree. So obviously it should go without saying that this list is not absolute it's based on my opinion and my observations from the game so far but i think it's a pretty good guide and whereas you should be able to get most if not all of the skills for almost all the trees these are the ones that i believe should be focused on first so without any further ado let's just jump right into it starting us off at number five we have gravedigger this one says that carrying dead or unconscious bodies won't cost you any stamina and they will burden you only half as much, and this can be unlocked as early as level 2 for strength. This one is pretty straightforward, and represents a clear benefit. If you're moving around dead or unconscious bodies a lot, this skill makes that quicker and easier, making it a great skill to grab early on in the game, especially if you don't want to be caught after you kill or knock someone out. Next up, at number 4, we have the mule skills. That being skills 1, 2, and 3. This skill is a lifesaver when, especially for a video game, Henry can carry almost nothing. These skills increase Henry's carry limit by 15, 20, and 25 pounds respectively, making this an essential set of skills to pick up as soon as you can if you plan on carrying anything more than just what you're wearing. In fact, this suit of armor right here would be too heavy for Henry to carry at the beginning of the game without being over-encumbered. And that's without basically anything else in the inventory. So that should speak volumes about how important those skills are. Next up, at number 3, we have the skill Dreadful. And this one says that foes will be more likely to flee from combat with you. The ones who do fight you will be less determined. This skill is, a gr is great for the player that engages in combat a lot, especially if it is often with multiple enemies at once. This skill can't be grabbed until level 14 for strength, so it is a later game skill, but it does really help, especially when you're fighting more than one opponent, because if they don't run away, at the very least they won't be striking you as fast or charging you as much. They'll be more hesitant, giving you the upper hand in battle many times. Next up at number 2, we have Tight Grip. Your stamina regeneration will not slow down in combat, even on the weapon backswing. This skill is all but essential if you plan on engaging in melee combat at any point in the game. Since that eventuality is highly likely in this game, a skill that keeps one's stamina up is a must. This skill can be grabbed as early on as level 6 for strength, and really does help, especially considering how much stamina is drained both by using your weapons in combat and being hit by opponent's weapons. Lastly, at number 1, we have Clinch Master which gives you a 40% higher chance of overpowering your opponent in a clinch. This one is an obvious choice for number one, seeing as it drastically evens the playing field, especially among strong NPCs. Now the people that used to manhandle you in a fight are getting a knee to the head, or kicked back into a ditch instead of you. This skill makes it much easier to fight in almost any type of combat, especially those that are melee or unarmed. All you have to do is close the gap between you and your opponent, and while fighting you're going to come into a clinch, and then you will be able to push them away, and while they're trying to recover, you can quickly attack, making it a very, very valuable skill to acquire. In addition to that, it's only level 4 to get it, so it's really easy to get early on in the game, so I suggest it very strongly. Well, that just about does it for this video. If you liked it, please consider leaving me a like. If you like this type of content, I think you should subscribe and go ahead and turn on the notification bell. That way you can stay up to date on all my content, especially those pertaining to Kingdom Come Deliverance. But in any case, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.